This video will show you how to set up Mattermost to manage your GitLab CI CD pipelines. I'm Andrew. Let's get started. By the end of this video, you'll have Mattermost connected to your GitLab account. Once you're configured, you'll be able to trigger pipeline jobs and receive notifications about them without ever leaving Mattermost. First, go to mattermost.com and click Get Started in the header to sign up for your free cloud account. Next, you'll want to go to gitlab.com and click register in the top right to do the same thing, acquire your free cloud account. Once you have both of those, another step you might want to do is in your GitLab account under your preferences, add an SSH key. That way you can push changes to your repository later. You can do this easily on gitlab.com itself. On your Mattermost cloud account in the top left corner, Click the menu icon and open the Marketplace. Next, we're going to be installing the GitLab plugin. So search for GitLab in the search bar, and once you find GitLab, click Install. After GitLab's installed, you'll want to go back to GitLab.com itself and go to your User Preferences. We're going to create an application that's authorized to connect to your GitLab account on Mattermost. To fill out these fields, we're going to reference the actual documentation for the GitLab plugin for Mattermost. So going to that documentation, we'll be given the values that we need to put into these fields. When entering your redirect URI, make sure that you put in the actual URL for your Mattermost cloud server, which you can easily grab out of the address bar. Just make sure it's for your actual server. After your URI is set up, the next thing you'll need to do is make sure you set the right scopes from the guide, which are the API and read user scopes. You'll need this for the application to function correctly and access everything it needs. Once you've completed these steps, you can save the application, which is gonna give you the last pieces of information you need. Copy the application ID and go back to Mattermost. In the top left corner, you're going to click the menu icon and click System Console. You'll search for GitLab, find the plugin, and once you find it, enable it. Enabling it here is gonna let us finish setting up this application that we're making in GitLab. We're gonna paste in the client ID that we just copied here, and going back to GitLab, we're gonna grab the secret. The secret can be pasted into the form below the client ID. Make sure you have a webhook secret and an at rest encryption key. You may need to click these regenerate buttons to have them, and then you can click the save button at the bottom of this form. Next, we'll want to go back to Mattermost, and we'll be able to confirm that this is set up and finish connecting it to our actual GitLab account. We're going to do this with a slash command from the plugin, which is slash GitLab connect which will provide a link that'll let us finish authorizing. This link will take us to GitLab, and then we can click the Authorize button to finish the process. You can see we received a direct message on our Mattermost cloud server from the GitLab plugin. This is telling us that our application was set up successfully, and the plugin is now communicating with GitLab. It's going to introduce some of the commands and features of what this plugin can do, but we're going to cover some of that now together. Going back to our channel, we're going to use a new GitLab slash command slash GitLab me to confirm that my actual profile has been connected, which it has. Next, with the plugin, we're going to go to GitLab.com with our repository. And on the left hand side, under the CI CD pipelines, we're going to create a new pipeline. This is going to generate a new YAML file with just a contrived example of making a CI CD pipeline in GitLab. You can see it's just echoing some information. We're going to commit this to our repository so that we can start working on the pipeline. You can see at the top that it's actually created a pipeline for this pipeline upon committing it. It's now going through the steps because we've added a file to the repository in the process. Back in GitLab, we can use the slash GitLab subscriptions add slash command to subscribe to our repository. Now the keyword for this is going to be your GitLab username and the project's name. 
So I'm gonna copy paste that here. And by default, the plugin is going to track issues, merges, and tag changes in your repo, but we're also gonna specify pipeline updates because that's what we wanna see for this example. The final step we need to do here is actually create a corresponding webhook on GitLab for this subscription, which we can do with an easy copy paste. The plugin does all the work for us. We just copy and paste right in the Mattermost channel. Back in GitLab, that pipeline that we initiated when we updated our CICD flow is still running, but I'm gonna go ahead and just add a new step to one of the jobs in this pipeline. This is just gonna echo a new message, and it's just to make sure that information is gonna be flowing back into our Mattermost instance. Once I've done this at the bottom, I can go ahead and commit this change, which is actually going to trigger a new pipeline to run on the CI CD. The old one's still running, but while we have this new one, we can go back to Mattermost and see that actually that first one just finished. And we have our message from pushing this updated change to the repository. So information is flowing into Mattermost from GitLab. Now we can start making changes to our pipeline or otherwise interacting with our pipeline directly from within Mattermost. You can see more information about the pipeline by clicking on it, and you can see it's made up of different stages that are themselves made up of different jobs. This is the test stage, which is made up of the lint test job and the unit test job. Once that second pipeline run is finished, we can go back to Mattermost and see that we have a message indicating that's happened for us. Again, this information is flowing into Mattermost and we're able to get pipeline updates directly within our channel. Another thing that would be really great to have here would be the ability to actually trigger these jobs from within Mattermost. To do this, we can actually enable an integration within GitLab that's going to let us send that information directly from Mattermost as a slash command. So in GitLab on the left hand side, select settings and then integrations for the project. You'll want to scroll down until you find Mattermost slash commands and click that in order to configure it for your project. This is going to give you easy copy paste fields that you can then take over the Mattermost to create a slash command that'll let you interact further with your GitLab instance. So back in Mattermost in the top left corner, click integrations and then slash commands and then add slash command. For each of these fields, you can just paste in what GitLab provides for you. Much of it is descriptive and you can make it whatever you'd like. An important thing to note is that you need a command trigger word. And this trigger word in this case can't be GitLab because that's already the trigger word for our plugin. So mine's just going to be GL. We're gonna copy the request URL because this is gonna be what actually communicates the slash command directly to your GitLab instance. And you'll want to leave the request method as post. You can leave the rest of this information as is. This is more cosmetic um, and about your experience within Mattermost, but we're going to click save here. The final step you'll need to do is actually copy the token that Mattermost provides to you back to GitLab. This is going to ensure that the Mattermost and the GitLab instances are talking only to each other. With this finalized, we can go into Mattermost and finally use our new slash command. After you actually connect to your GitLab account with the new slash command, we can do slash gl help to see a list of the commands that are available through this. The command that we want is run. This will let us run jobs from our actual CI/CD pipeline. So let's do gl run build job. This is going to deploy the build job step of the pipeline, and we're going to receive a message indicating this has started for us. We can click the message directly in Mattermost to go straight into the job on GitLab and see the CICD job in process. Once it's completed, which it has just now, it'll actually report this right on back to Mattermost so we can see that information there. So now we have bi-directional communication between Mattermost and GitLab. We can trigger jobs and receive updates about those jobs in our pipeline. Now you're equipped with Mattermost and GitLab working together in the cloud. From here, Anything is possible. What will you build? Thanks for watching.